Having a well-behaved giant dog is lovely, but you should know their size will change as they grow. They can be dominant and some might start to become aggressive. All Cane Corso puppies are sweet and adorable when you bring them home. But one must remember that this darling little thing is going to overgrow into a large dog that can be strong-willed and has a dominating nature. If you don't take the appropriate steps responsibly to welcome a dog into your home, it can become a real problem. When you take in a dog, you bring them into your family's pack. With no specific rules, owners cannot avoid the consequences of a 120-pound Cane Corso running around their home. Here are the essential training tips you should know to start within a little bit. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. We are Smart Dog Lover. Hit that like button. We will take you through these steps in much detail in the latter part of the videos. So stay tuned and have a great learning experience. Crate Training If your puppy is allowed to sleep on the furniture, they may think they rank higher than you. In fact, if your pet thinks you're equal, it might make them feel like a leader. By continuously keeping your dog in a crate near your bed, pets are reminded that they are lower on the social ladder and provide comfort as they feel they're near someone. Before bed, take your dog out on the leash and place them in the potty area outside. Praise the animal when they use it properly and then put them back in their crate with a treat thrown down inside. The dog may cry, but do not relent Stay calm, reassuring them that you are there. Eventually, they will give up and go back to sleep. After taking them out of their crate, praise your dog before returning him or her to his or her igloo while they enjoy their breakfast. Never use a kennel to restrain your dog for an extended period. Dogs need to be able to exercise outside of the home. If your dog is too young, it needs a large intestine static kennel with open air space and a movable door. If a Corso dog can't have their own room, it'll develop separation anxiety. Caging a puppy when they need to potty will make them potty on the floor, causing behavioral problems. If you're an apartment dweller and can't have a backyard or secure space outdoors, get a different breed of dog. Overbonding. When someone is home constantly with a puppy, they should know that that puppy needs to be alone during the day. Let the dog have a few minutes outside by themselves and increase from there as they progress in their confidence. This way, a confident dog will feel safe without you from an early age. There needs to be a balance in how much time you spend with your family and work on being independent. The best way is to plan for it in advance so you don't feel overwhelmed. Be mindful of how much time you spend with your puppy on your lap and not hold them for too long. The sweet little furry animals should stay relatively close to their homes but not be held for too long or risk developing a disease. Potty Training the key to success is to know when your puppy needs to go potty, and then take them to the right place in the house or outside. You may not be able to watch them or have them around all the time, but try to keep their entertainment close at hand so they don't have the urge to run around. Regarding your dog's potty training, follow these strict rules for the first few weeks. The more it works with them and they get to know when they have to pee or poop, the less you have to worry about accidents at your home. Begin by taking your puppy on a leash and leading him to the designated area of your yard. Gradually repeat the word potty in a positive tone. Your puppy will eventually get the correlation between the word and action. So when they're adults, they will be able to respond to your commands. Socialization, socialization, and socialization. Corso dogs need social skills in modern society since they're brilliant and persuasive. The Cane Corso does its job by analyzing every situation and being sure to gather all the information it needs to evaluate a case properly. A Corso needs to know how to react to varying situations. 
Nakane may not be the best first option, but it sets us up for success when trying to understand our environment and possible threats. Corso has had many experiences that allow him to judge how to react in most situations. A new person or creature will find this difficulty in understanding how in the face of simple events, they may become aggressive or fearful, both violent behaviors that should be avoided. No pulling, please. Dogs pull their owners around the park, leading them where they want to go. Leaders decide which direction the company takes, not subordinates. Allowing dogs to sleep or marking territory is just a part of leadership, and they're also expected to do it. Hold the leash on the dog and tell them to do their business before you tie up the leash again. Be sure to discourage any breaks between your pack and have them stop when it's time to eat or rest. When traveling or training, having a trained dog means you don't have to keep resetting their routine. When confined in a specific area, you can teach them to only eliminate where they should be. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. It's nearly impossible to wash a 120 pound dog, whether because they're trying to fight you or for another reason. To deal with this, teach your pup to be bash. Start as soon as he's young and take him into the bathroom each week so he can be washed in the tub. This reward is a treat with praise. Repeat the process back on the backs of their necks. Considering how much your dog loves soaking in the tub, it only makes sense that they would enjoy drying themselves off. If you take the time to make the process positive, there's no reason your pup won't stand when you dry them off. You be the leader. The best way to stop unwanted behavior is to make it clear, loud, and with distinct parameters. Move in close and protect yourself. Ensure the dog gets the message that you won't put up with their behavior. If they start getting aggressive, disengaged, and move away, being too soft can reinforce unwanted behavior, so be firm, yet caring. Praise and reassurance are for good behavior. This process should only support what you want your pet to do. If the dog continues to growl or bite without provocation, it's time for physical touch. This approach is used in dominance correction in dogs to stimulate self-defense body language that a dominant animal may use and solid reprimands when you release it. When using this technique, you must be willing to see through it until the desired effect has been achieved. When teaching your dog, a great place to use common sense and good judgment is the intensity of pressure and concern. Dogs often act differently at different ages, so it's essential to consider their maturity and size. A puppy's brains has not developed until they are 18 weeks old, but that doesn't mean training goes away as they grow older. Never enough praise. They're versatile because they like to please and do anything necessary for their owner. They may look scary and challenging, but usually they'll have everyone's best interest at heart. Even though natural obstacles interfere with the physical abilities of a Cane Corso dog, many show a unique intelligence that allows them to be sensitive to their owner's needs. If you want your dog to obey, stay calm, and don't get angry, if they see they're not getting the response they expect, or they're scared, dogs become resistant and unfriendly. With leadership skills, we must show confidence in our positions. Make sure everyone is aware of who the boss is before teaching them with love and appreciation for their hard work. Cane Corsos are aggressive dogs because of their possessive territorial and guarding nature. They aren't very kind to two and four-legged strangers. However, if they are trained and socialized early, they can learn to be more friendly. Because Cane Corsos are intelligent, they don't want to do what you say, which is why it's essential to teach your puppy from a young age these simple obedience commands that are so crucial for the safety of their lives. They should be able to come to you when you call them, sit, stay, and stop moving for you and the animal. Hope this video helps you train your giant companions since their puppyhood. If you like the video, 
please don't forget to give a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for staying with us.